Good morning, Grace Community Church. Uh, this is Pastor Dwayne here. Uh, it's a wonderful morning, uh, Wednesday morning. I trust that you're having a beautiful day. So there is a fabulous passage of scripture, and most of you are familiar with it already, in John chapter 21. And uh, this is the third time now that Jesus has appeared to his disciples uh, after the resurrection. And uh, it's just such a wonderful story. It's got a powerful message at the end of it that I want to share with you today. So um, Jesus is on the shore of the Sea of Galilee. The disciples, not all of them, but I think about eight or nine of them were out fishing. They fished all night, and that's something that uh, they used to do. Um, there's a certain type of fish that seems to um, uh, be most active at night, and it's called St. Peter's fish, but uh, it's kind of like a... a uh, car, uh, not a carp, but like a, a, a crappie. And so they were fishing all night and nothing happened. And then um, they noticed that someone's on the shore yelling at them. And uh, immediately they don't recognize him, Jesus, but he said, hey guys, why don't you try throwing your nets on the other side of the boat, on the right side of the boat, which they did. Now it's morning by now. And the net was so full of fish, they couldn't hardly move it. And then Peter noticed that it was Jesus, and um, he jumped out of the boat and ran towards the shore. And uh, then all the disciples came in, and this just gigantic haul of fish. And uh, Jesus invited them uh, to breakfast. Um, one of the last acts that Jesus did before he was crucified was washing the feet of the disciples. And now these very same disciples, third time after they have, uh, he's been resurrected, that they've met together. So just probably within a few days. Uh, and Jesus wants to serve them again. This time he wants to serve them breakfast. And so he does. And it's, it's, this is the wonderful story. So um, Jesus had a little charcoal fire. By the way, uh, the only other time that a charcoal fire is mentioned in Scripture is the night that Jesus was betrayed this is after the Last Supper, Monday, Thursday night. Um, and uh, the trial, actually, is just kind of an interview of Jesus, is going on in Caiaphas' palace. And outside this big courtyard, that's where Peter was. And that's where he denied Jesus three times. And one of the times that he denied Jesus uh, was by a charcoal fire. And this is where he was confronted by a middle school girl. said, don't you one of Jesus' followers? And he said, nope, nope, that's not me. So this is interesting that the time that Jesus denied Christ three times, now we have another charcoal fire, and here's an opportunity for Jesus to or Peter to confess Christ three times. And so here's what happens. So it's off to the side, the disciples are moving around, but Peter has a moment with Jesus alone. And maybe this is the first time uh, they've been alone. Uh, there's obviously Jesus invited Peter to experience his resurrection and all of that, but maybe this is the first time they've had an opportunity to really be alone. And so this is what Jesus says. He said, Peter, do you love me? And Peter said, Lord, you know that I love you. Uh, I love you with all my heart. Then Jesus says, then feed my sheep. Um, after that, Jesus asked again, Peter, do you love me? At this point, I'm sure Peter's feeling a little awkward, like, oh man, didn't he believe me? Doesn't he know my heart, right? And uh, Peter says, Lord, you know that I love you. Then take care of my lambs. The third time, uh, and now Peter's probably des you know, des disconsolate and his head's bowed down, and he says, Peter, do you love me? And Peter said, Lord, you know that I love you. Can't you see my heart? And then Jesus once again says, um, take care of my sheep. Now, in that moment, um, a couple of things are going on. This is what I want to share with you. The first is this. Uh, Any time that something is mentioned by Jesus more than once, hey, pay attention to this. This really matters. Luke 15, we talked about this last Sunday in the message. Luke 15 parables of the uh, lost sheep, lost coin, lost son. Three times Jesus says to his readers, to his followers, listen, this idea of a lost, of being lost, um, lost people 
really matter to me? Lost, so three times he emphasized this. Lost sheep, lost coin, lost, lost people really matter to me. So here, three times. Now, two things are happening here. The first thing that's happening is Peter is confessing. Maybe it's the first time he's confessed out loud his sin of denying Jesus. And he does it three times. It really matters, okay? The Bible says we confess our sins to one another. Sometimes we get stuck because we've confessed our sins to God, but we haven't really confessed it to somebody else. And I think that's really matters. That's why there's pastors, priests, confidants, friends, spouses. We need to confess our sin to each other sometimes. And uh, this is what Jesus was emphasizing with Peter. So he, he confessed three times. So the, he denied three times. Now he confessed three times. But here's what I really want you to understand. This is what I think really matters. This is a call to ministry. Three times, it matters three times. Jesus said, feed my sheep. Take care of my lambs. Feed my sheep. The most important thing in the world to Jesus was his sheep, you and me. The most important thing in the world to Jesus and to his heavenly Father is that we are taken care of. This is an introduction to the church. The church is established now at Pentecost, a little bit later. But this matters to God. He is leaving the planet. Now he's going to be in us by his spirit, right, forever. But leaving us, listen, this matters. The church of Jesus Christ, I still believe with all my heart, the church is the greatest hope of the world. And it's because we are called to take care of God's sheep and to be ambassadors of Jesus Christ, to bring the good news of Christ's reconciling love to all people. So this is a word about how important the church is. Feed my sheep. We do that best when we're in person. Now, I know some of you aren't comfortable with that, and that's okay. But on the 18th, we're going to be in person again, and we're going to start taking care of each other, and we're going to start doing what Christ invited Peter to do and what he invites you and me to do, and that's to feed my sheep. This really matters. God bless you. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.